Today, we're gonna try and make a house for the Grim Reaper. Ooh. And thank you so much to the Yay Creator Network for the early access. I don't know if I have to say this another time, but uh, I don't want to get sued, so yeah, thank you. And the winner of the Life and Death expansion pack is this person. Congratulations! And as I'm filming this right now, I don't know who this person is because I'm filming it before the 31st of October, but I'm sure that I've chosen the right person. I don't know, I did it randomly, but congratulations! <laughs> Alright, let's get going with this build, shall we? Or we freaking shall. Ooh, yes. And as you can see, yes, I'm still in the early access version because I'm filming this on a Monday before the pack comes out. <laughs> so when you're seeing this, the pack is already out, but not for me in this timeline. It hasn't come out yet. So still the early access version. St still the early access version. Okay. Anyways, let's uh, build this exterior of a house. I'm not really sure how this house is going to look like. No idea at all, actually, but we're going to figure it out as we go. So I'm just going to start off with making some boxes down there, see what the wind takes me. All right, so this is our first floor, looking very lovely. I don't even know what this is. But now we're going to make the second floor. And what is that going to be? I do wonder. I mean, this can go up as normal. Then I think I want the second floor to go a little bit in. So I want a little patio moment, you know? Maybe something like so. It looks very strange, but maybe it will be something. And then maybe we can make a box right here. Because I want a little tower moment. I don't know why I want a tower moment, but I kind of do. All right, though. So let's put this on a little foundation. Maybe something like so. And now we got to choose our wallpaper. Whoa. And I do think I want to go for this in the stones with the corner accent. Because I've heard that they actually work. Do they work? Oh, it works. Okay. Oh, it actually works. This never works, by the way. It never, never works. But it actually works. Okay, I'm surprised. And I'm impressed. And I'm kind of sad that I'm impressed. But I'm impressed. <laughs> but I do want it in a dark color. So I'm going to go for this one. Yes, that's good for the Grim Reaper. And it's also good for Nora. And then for these balconies, I'm going to put up a fence. Just so I don't get confused. Because I'm also going to put up some columns to lessen my confusion fusion when I'm gonna do the roof. All right, now for the scary part, people, we have to do the roof. And uh, what am I gonna do? I do wonder. Maybe I can start off with a gabled roof right here on that small little tower part. Maybe something like so. No. Ah, I don't know. Maybe something like so. And then this big old tower, we can have this roof. Flop it on there. Make it spiky. Is that too spiky? We shall see <laughs> if that's too spiky. <laughs> and on that big roof right here, I can take a hip roof, stretch it along there. And then what am I gonna do? Oh, wait, my bad. I need to take the roof all the way up here. And the other side too. Or am I? No, I'm gonna double it up. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go. No, that looks ugly. Uh, okay, redo. I painted the roof tiles black just so I don't get confused. Sometimes I get confused by the ugliness. Okay, that looks kind of better. All right. And then to get some contrast back here, I can place these small little roofs right on there and copy it to the other side. That was not correct. No, I'll fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Okay, that looks a lot better. I'm happy. Kind of happy with that. Kind of happy. All right. And now for the windows. What type of windows do we want? I mean, I think that Grim is is a little bit fancy, but not too fancy, you know? He's still a down-to-earth guy. So maybe we can go for these sort of windows. They are not that fancy, you know? Yeah, we could do that. It sounds like a plan to me, at least. And then right here, we can use this window, but we're gonna turn it around. Boom! So we don't get that freaking frame around it. And it kind of fits in there. It really does. Ooh, and what window am I gonna have on that tower, though? Maybe just this window. Okay, problem solved. Moving on. And then for the door, we need a good door. Ooh, maybe I can go for this one. Yes. All right, I have put up my windows all around town. And now... Now, I do think for the balcony moment that I want to put up some freezers and what can be good for that? Not that one. Maybe I can go for this one. Oh, that's so annoying. It doesn't come in a complete black one. Eh, but may maybe I have to think about that. You know, it's always good to think about stuff. It, it really is. Oh, and then in the back here, maybe we can have a little patio moment. Wouldn't that be fun for us? I know that my windows are all hoobity hobbity right now, but that's because I messed up the placement. <laughs> I'm going to fix that after I'm done with this patio, okay? So we can kind of have a patio like so. And then what if we have a balcony on top of that just for some extra spice and then i'm actually gonna put this roof around it like so to just create a little moment you know you know oh not like that what am i doing <laughs> sort of like that what have i created today i don't even know but maybe that could be something i don't know i don't know maybe maybe <laughs> do you believe Bla? and then what if i put up a basement right here like a basement entrance on each side i don't know why i want that but i think i kind of want that because i saw a picture of a house that had that and i got inspired and i want to make that. So I'm going to do that right now with me frickety frackety staircases all around town. And I'm also going to put up a little fence. Just a teeny tiny one all around the basement entrance. Wow, because I do feel like the Grim Reaper would have some sort of basement entrance like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. I kind of like it. Yeah. And then ooh, what if I put up these string lights on the side here? Yeah? Wouldn't that be so lovely? Yeah, you know what? I do kind of like that. That is so cute. Hello. Wow, what a good, good day it is to be an aura. Oh, and I also kind of want to put up this balcony right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Oh, and on the balcony, of course, we need a table with some chairs and a plant. And we can also have a little trash bin and this towel for moon bathing. I mean, it's underneath the roof, but I don't think that the Grim Reaper would mind that, you know? I really don't think so. <laughs> and now I do kind of think I want to put up these little round circle wooden things. This was some detailing all around town. Oh, and I can also put up these things. That would be lovely. Okay. And I'm also going to put up some holes on the roof because what is a roof without some holes? I do tell you. Alrighty, we got a little exterior going on. I mean, it looks kind of cool. Kind of out there. Kind of kind of scary. And it also kind of looks like a church with that tower. And maybe that was the point. I don't know. But yeah, I do like the vibe of this house. Now, we're going to start with the landscaping. And first of all, I'm going to start out with some sketching as I normally do. It's important to sketch people. It is. Now, I think the entrance is going to be around here. Yeah, because we have a walkway right there. So we need a walkway that starts here. And that goes to the door. We also need a pathway to the basement on each side. And then, <gasps> what if we have a little greenhouse right there? Just a teeny tiny little greenhouse. I feel like the Grim Reaper would like some gardening. <laughs> because in Norwegian, the Grim Reaper is called Mammeon, which literally means the man with the scythe. And what does the scythe do? I don't know, but it's connected to gardening. <laughs> so that's just lovely. And then we also need something here and something here. What those things are going to be? I don't know, but something. All right. So we got a sort of a kind of a plan right now. A beautiful plan, I must say. So let's do this for real this time. For real. All right. I am now trying to make a little pathway and I know it is not symmetrical on these sides. Okay. I know that, but I'm not sure if I want the walkway to go something like so or something like so. So I'm just testing both of them out to see what's hip hop happening in this place. All right. Good. Now, what are we going to start with first? That is the big question. Maybe we're going to start with the greenhouse. I was going to be right here. So let's make a little box like so. And then I'm going to put on the new windows that we got. That kind of looks like greenhouse windows to me. Oh, but what door are we going to use? Oh, they did not give us a door that matches with these greenhouse windows. Oh no, what a tragedy. I kind of want to use this door, but that looks ridiculous. What if I make a little part that goes out like so and I popped off and then I can put my door right here and the windows on the sides. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then the roof. I think I'm going to go for this sort of roof with me greenhouse tiles. Oh, boom, shamalam, green house right and inside of this greenhouse what do we need we need some flowering pots i can just place them all hoity-toity maybe we can also have a woodworking table <laughs> since in this version of the game i only have the base game and the life and death expansion pack i have to be creative with this <laughs> oh or maybe this is a painter thingy thing i don't know why but it's going in there oh and of course i need to have plants in my freaking pots <laughs> that's also important <laughs> i almost forgot to do that by the way i almost did <laughs> and also some little nicky necks everywhere and yeah i think that is a very cute greenhouse a start of a greenhouse at least very cute and nice huh? and then for out here i was kind of thinking of having a little fountain moment what if we just plop that in get some nice water in it oh yeah and maybe this spitting fish fountain. <laughs> I mean, okay sure and then of course i'm gonna try to put some plants around it just to get some life into this place some sweet sweet life and there are me plants and that's looking very lovely i like that for now at least okay what else can we do around here oh maybe i can put up this little bench right here for some reason. And then I can put up a fountain with a crow on it from the e-bag. Scrying bowl, it's called. I do kind of like that situation. And now I do want a little fence moment to fence this all in. And actually, I just saw Create for Sims, who makes some beautiful houses, by the way. And she also made the buildings for this world. But for one of her buildings, she did this little fence moment right here, where it goes in a little bit and then out again. And I thought that that was so cool. So I kind of want to do the same. You know, you know? And we are going to do the same. So thank you for that. I was inspired. All right, Tati. So I think I want to go for maybe this sort of fence. You know? And then I'm just gonna go in a little bit, and then maybe two out, and then one in, and then bobby -da bam, and then bam. And I'm gonna do that for the rest of the fence. All right, like so. Here's my wonky wonky fence. It looks kind of cool. I like it. Oh, if you just put some plants in there and stuff, that's gonna be really cool. And that, me friends, is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I am gonna put up me plants all around this lot. I'm gonna put some plants up on the fence, up on the house, up everywhere, and it's gonna be lovely. Hopefully, it will be lovely. I don't even know what type of plants I'm going to be using, but I'm going to be using some sort of plants. It's going to be lovely. Am I going to have a fun, fun time? Are you having a fun time? Yes? No? Maybe so? Right now, I'm having a lovely time. It's a Monday today, by the way, out of all days. And I do kind of like Mondays, which is surprising. I like Mondays more than I like Tuesdays. Tuesdays is the worst. Because by Tuesday, I'm already done with everything. I'm done with life by Tuesday, okay? <laughs> Monday gives me hope, but then that hope is shattered by Tuesday. Uh, yeah. Anyways. 
<laughs> Here we have the house in all its glory. I have put up all my frickety frickety plants, as you can see, all along this house. And I've also put up a little bench right there with a the barrel. Why? You have to ask Grim about that, because I, I don't know. And I've also put up that magical well, and lots and lots of plants, and a little stool for some reason, and another half barrel. I don't know what that is. It is something. And of course, I put up the undead cow plant. And isn't that a little lovely guy? I do think so. All right, now I do think that I want to change up this section right here. I kind of want the pathway to go out here instead. But I think I'm going to think about that. Because I like to think. Yes, sometimes I do, people. <laughs> but I'm going to think about that. I'm going to do the interior first. And then maybe I have had a good thought about that. Okay, let's do the interior. Yeah? Wah, wah, wah. And as you can see, I have done a little layout of this house. Because I am productive today. I've done a layout on both floors. And it's going to be lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, on the first floor, we have an entryway, a hallway, a living room, a kitchen. Oh my gosh, my name tag. Get away from me. And a dining room. And then right here, we have a... Oh my gosh, what was this called again? I've been told so many times what this is called, but I cannot remember. A boot room? A mud room. Is that correct? Mud, mud room. And a little half bath right there. And on the second floor, we got a hallway. And then we have Grimm's bedroom right here. And a bathroom for Grimm. Called the non-sweet people. <laughs> and then right here, we have a little guest bedroom. And a normal bathroom. And an office. Grimm's office. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, that's right. And then we have a basement. I gotta figure out the basement too. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick layout. I'll come back to you guys. Ah. All right, welcome back. Here is the layout of the basement. <laughs> and I thought that this basement could be a hangout type of space for the other Reapers. His ghostly ghouls, his friends, his colleagues, something something like that. Yeah, cool. So right here, we have the entryway hallway moment situation right there. And then we have Grimm's office again. And then right here, we have like a hangout place where they can all hang out and chillax. And then right here, I thought we could have a little bedroom situation with some small bedrooms where they can sleep. I don't know if they sleep, but in my mind, I do. And then in this room right here, I thought that we could have a little coffin storage room. Hear me out. <laughs> because I forgot that in my last build, when I built that funeral home, I forgot to put in a casket storage room, selling room, whatever. I forgot to put that in. And I regret that decision every night. So I thought we could have a little storage coffin situation right there to make up for my mistakes. And there is some lore here. Maybe the funeral people got the caskets from Grim. I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the furnishing. And what are we going to start with? I don't even know. I mean, maybe we can start with the basement first since we are already here. Let's do that. So first off, I'm just going to put in some flooring and some wallpaper. And I think I want this to be a little bit shabby. So I'm going to use this flooring everywhere I go. And this shabby, shabby wallpaper. Oh, yes. And since this is going to be Grimm's office, I think I'm going to go for a little bit more fancier. This one. Oh, yes. Fancy. All right. So for the hallway, I'm just going to put up some lights <laughs> because it's kind of dark in here. Just randomly like so. And then, I mean, we need some stairs because that's important or else they're not going to get in here. So, oh, that was the wrong one. Ah, but sort of like so. With me stairs. Me good old dark stairs. Put them on there. And then this part right here, we can put in the portal from Debug. I just need to find it. But that portal goes into the other world where all the magical creatures are. So they can come out of that portal into that little room right there. And I think I need to raise it down a little bit too. Because it's kind of tall. So if you just raise it down a little bit. Whoa. And then I'm going to put my portal in. My sweet, sweet portal. Oh, it's going up. No. Get down. Get down. There we go. And isn't that just magical? So now all the people leaves can come out of that portal. And why is this glitching? Have I done something? Welcome back. I have tried to fix this little glitching thing right here. Like, I've literally tried everything, but it's won't stop glitching. So I don't know what to do. Let's ignore that as best as we can. I almost said asbestos. That's not what I wanted to say. Well, anyways, what do I want for this hallway? Maybe... What if I put in a little playing table? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I know. Moving on to something else. I can put up this casket from Debug for some reason. Sure, that works for me. All right, now for the hangout space, we need some couches. So maybe I can put up these in that little moment. Oh, yes. And also a coffee table and a TV table stand with my TV on it. And for the carpet situation, I think I want to go for something something. What if I do this? No. I think that could work. It's either going to be really good or really bad. <laughs> that carpet thing. But <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it. It has a mood to it. It has some sweet, sweet moods. Sweet, sweet moods? What? Was that correct? I don't know. Maybe someday Nora will learn her words, but it's not going to be today. I'll tell you that. But to top it all off, I'm going to put up a box. Wow. And that is one messy hangout space. I do gotta say. Got some postcards even on my load. And then on the other side here, we can have a little kitchen moment maybe. I just put up these ones. Oh, those are nice and blue. And then we can have a microwave and a coffee machine, which are really old. <laughs> oh, and then instead of that counter, we can have a little bar moment. I think they would like a little bar moment, you know? Yeah. And then of course, some kitchen. Nickety knocks. 
That's what this place needs. Kitchen naked next. Everywhere I go, I put them up. I mean, what a lovely little kitchen. And I'm also gonna put up this dartboard thing. Good luck with that. <laughs> and this freaking hole in the floor. Yes. I mean, that's kind of a dancing with that hole in the floor. <laughs> what do you gotta say? <laughs> right, now for this part, I have already lowered down the room a little bit because I want these rooms to be a little bit raised up. But if I raise these rooms up, it's gonna mess up everything upstairs. So this is what it's gotta be. Now in each room, I'm gonna put up a little arch or a big arch with some curtains maybe. Oh, yikes. Can these curtains work? I mean, maybe. I do not like the color, but what are we gonna do? Sort of like so. And then we need a bed. And what if you use a casket bed instead of a real bed? I mean, that fits the vibe, doesn't it? Maybe. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. And then in each little cubby room, I can put up some posters and stuff. What about this flower thing? Oh, that's kind of nice. And they're also gonna get their own little shelf with their shelf nicky necks and some nice little posters and maybe a little clothing rack as well. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's kind of cute. And I'm gonna do that for all the other rooms as well. Lovely, lovely times. And you know what? I think that turned out very, very cute. And these rooms, I actually got inspired by one of you, this person right here, when I did my shell challenge tours. So thank you for that. It was lovely. And then for this casket room, what are we gonna do for the casket room? I mean, we don't have any shelves in my version of the game, at least. I don't have any shelves. So we can use some tables, maybe. These black ones. And then we can just stack those caskets on those tables. I mean, <laughs> maybe that could work. And <laughs> what if in here, they just have an extra storage space for all the graves that they're using? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. This has turned into a weird little room. I gotta be honest. But maybe, maybe I like it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, now for Grimm's office. What are we gonna do in here? I mean, I think I'm gonna start off with the desk and this cool desk chair. And of course, some desk nicky next. Because what kind of person would I be if I didn't have desk nicky next? You know, that is the question. Whoa. Oh, and then we need some chairs in front of the desk. These ones, maybe. So, you know, that the workers can talk to their boss and get yelled at. I mean, that's trauma in the box right there. But anyways, and then on that wall, we need these pictures and little dead fish. I don't know why I put that up, but I put that up. Oh, and also this cabinet thingy, thanks. Yes. I mean, that looks really professional. I think Grim would like this place very much, actually. Oh, and then we can have a table right there. And then I am going to put up some trophies on that table. Because I feel like Grim would have that. He would have a lot of trophies that he's gotten from Grimming around. <laughs> Reaping around. I don't know. But he surely has. Lovely, lovely trophies. Oh, and then this. What is this? Tactical map. Oh, we need that. Oh, yeah. And that's starting to look like a really cool office, if I do say so. Misao. Don't you think so, my ghoulie ghoul? What was this called again? Johnny the Jerry Ghost. Oh, that's right. <laughs> He's cute. I mean, this turned out to be a very cute little basement moment. But now, we're gonna move up to the first floor. We have a whole house to decorate. How are we gonna do it? And I think I'm gonna start with putting up this wallpaper right here on just every single wall. Just for a start, people. Just for a start. Or else it looks very boring and grey in here. Well, it looks very boring and grey in here right now, but in a different sort of way, hopefully. Well, okie dokie. Let's start with the entryway. That's always a good start. And I can put up this clothing rack. Ooh, and maybe this chair in the corner with a little poof moment. And then on the other side here, we need an entryway table. This isn't an entryway without a table, people. And above that, I can do that little mirror trick with placing three of these mirrors next to each other in a better way than I did right now. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Nora, fix yourself. Sort of like that. <laughs> Thank you. And then we need some entryway nickety necks. We do. And oh, wow, isn't that a cute little moment? Maybe. I'm also going to put up some shoe racks under there. Does the Grim Reaper use shoes? I don't know, but his friends does. So. Oh, and of course, a little carpet. A carpet moment. Shabalabam. Okay, and then for this hallway, what do we need here? I mean, we need a carpet. That's always good to have. Oh, and then we can have a little table right there. A little pedestal table with some nicky knacks on it. Hmm, sounds good to me. And we need that little creepy man as well. And that not so creepy woman, actually. Wow, what a lovely day it is. <laughs> All right, now for this living room. What do we need for a living room? We need a couch. So maybe we can use this couch again. That is always nice to use. <laughs> but then we need some little couches. And what am I going to do there? Because, ah, maybe these can work. I don't even know. Okay, I think these can work. That's not that problematic. Eh, that I'm going to put in my carpet. Oh, I'm missing my tool mod again. I can't wait until I can configure the carpets the way I want them to. But look, I put up a little wooded doll right there. Just for the feels. And a little iPad. The kid's iPad. <laughs> and that tarot card. <laughs> and I also put up a fireplace right here. But then I noticed that this fireplace is too tall. It goes up to the balcony. But that's a future Nora problem. So I'm gonna look past that. I, I am. <gasps> and then the curtain situation. Oh no. I forgot about the curtains. Okay. Please be good to me. Do we have any black curtains? Yeah, we kind of do. But do they fit? No. They do not. Oh no. This is niche good. What about gray curtains? Oh yikes. How is this gray? That is brown. What? I've been lied to. They're bamboozling me. Okay, after a while, I found a gray curtain that kind of matches this aesthetic. And it's this one. Am I happy about that? No, but we gotta live with it and forget about it. But I'm gonna put up a little table here. And I'm gonna put up some sweet, sweet table naked and eggs. And you can kind of see that fish in the window. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. But all right. There we go. Put up some candles, some books. My little ghost. It's all good, people. And then I think in this little nook right here, I wanna put in a bar moment. A sweet, sweet bar moment. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> and 
of course, I'm gonna put up some pictures. And then this big one in the middle. Does that work? Yeah, that works for Nora. Oh, and then right here, we can put up a chess table. With some chairs, of course. So I feel like the Grim Reaper likes to play chess. He's a smart person. And I feel like he's also very old. So he needs a lot of hobbies. When you've lived that long, you need hobbies. Okay, nothing excites you anymore. <laughs> Gotta play some chess. And now we're gonna start off with the kitchen. This big old blob right here. What are we gonna do for the kitchen? I do wonder. I mean, I think I want to put up this sort of wallpaper for the kitchen. You know, having a little break moment. But not on every wall. I'm gonna leave that wall alone. And then I'm gonna put in my beautiful counters. Where am I gonna put them? Maybe here? Great placement, Nora. But I think I want this sort of kitchen. This L-shaped one. And then on the end right here. I'm gonna have a little bar moment. But not like that. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have a little bar moment. Like so. Okay, I fixed it. And then we can have a stove in there. Boom. And a sink in there. Wow. Beautiful. And then for the cabinets, we need a cabinet moment. Oh, and what about these red ones? <gasps> That's kind of lovely. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. That's gonna be magical, people. I love it. Alright, I'm gonna put some nicky necks. And I thought for this nicky nicky session. Huh? Okay, sure. This nicky nicky session. I want to keep it to a minimum because Grim wouldn't use his kitchen, would he? Because does Grim eat food? In my mind, he doesn't. So this kitchen is just for show. And maybe if some sort of guest comes over, I don't know. So he just has the decoration to a bare minimum. And that's what's gonna happen today. <laughs> Alright, so here are my nicky necks. As you can see, very, very minimum. And I also put some bread here. That's the decoy bread. So Grim can fool people into thinking he's eating. <laughs> I don't know. And then, ooh, right here, we can have a little coffee moment. A coffee corner moment. And, oh, no. I can't put that coffee machine in the middle because I don't have too much. I love to put the coffee machine in the middle. Oh, no. Darn it. Okay, I gotta get past that. I just gotta get past that. At this point in life, you just gotta get past it. Stop complaining. And then right here, we can have a little kitchen noob. We can have a small little table with some chairs. And I'm gonna change the color as well. Ta-ta. Lovely. And what can we have on the wall right there? I need something to have on that wall. Ooh, we can have this cute little shelf. That's super cute. I like that. And then for the carpets, we need a good carpet moment. What can fit in there? No. No. Oh, no. Okay, I've looked through so many carpets now, and none of them fit because they're either too wide or too long, and it's just... Oh, what am I gonna do? Something funky, maybe? Okay, what if I put up this carpet right there, and then I just squeeze this carpet on top and make a weird moment like that? Okay, Grim was tired of the carpets. He just pushed them on top. Ah, no. Nah. Moving on, and we're gonna move on to the dining room. <laughs> I don't want to see those carpets again, but I'm gonna put up a big old dining table because we have space for that with some hierarchy chairs in gray or black i don't know but i'm gonna put up the rest of my chairs <laughs> and then we need some carpets oh we're back to this problem again oh no can this fit it's a little bit too wide what if i oh no what am i gonna do okay i just did this do not ask me about it i'm so tired of the carpets i can't no just no but i'm gonna put up a little hat chair a little haunted touch moment and i'm gonna have my haunted touch nicky next too because we deserve it haunted touch nicky next is in store but for real i don't know how people do carpets without tool mod because nothing seems to work. Nothing at all. But I can put up that little crow in the corner. I'm gonna call him Greg. What a lovely, lovely dining room though. <laughs> I'm gonna do this mudroom. Was that the name? Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Only time will tell. Okay, so in this bathroom, we need a little half bath. No. <laughs> in this half bath, we need a toilet. And a sink with some soap. And a mirror. Oh, and a toilet roll, of course. And some very creepy pictures. And then for the real mudroom, what, what do we need here? I don't know why I put up those, but I did. <laughs> I mean, we need a shoe rack and one of those coat hooks. Wow. And a little carpet. A front door carpet and this painting. Oh. All right. And now we're going to move on to the second floor. The second floor. All right. So on the second floor, what are we going to begin with here? I mean, I think we're going to start with Grimm's bedroom. Because that seems logical. I'm going to put in this bed in that color. Oh, that's nice. With some cool, funky nighttime tables. No, nightstands. The modern Grimm Pression nightstand by Gentle Night. Okay, so it's a nightstand. Good. And look. Look at my little nicky nags. One side of the bed has the full on shebang on, and then the other side has nothing except for that lamp. And that's because I don't think Grim has a partner. So that's the deal with that. <laughs> now we need a sweet, sweet carpet on that bed to just frame it all in. And what carpet am I gonna go for? Does that work? No, that's gonna be weird because of that corner. Can I size it down a little bit? No, I cannot, of course. I feel like I'm in the bad place. Oh, oh no. <laughs> all right, it is sometime later, and I, I don't know what to do with the carpet. I gotta figure that out. I gotta think about it. We're just gonna move on for now. I gotta think about it. Oh, flap. But I'm gonna put up my tin foil man in that corner. <laughs> and then right here, we can have a little dresser moment. Oh, in green. Oh, that's gonna be lovely. And I think for that dresser, I am gonna put up a big old TV. Because <laughs> I feel like Grim would have a TV <laughs> by the bed. Because literally every time that I play The Sims and Grim comes over, he always watches the TV. So I think he likes the TV a lot. Alright, he's a modern man watching his TV. And then, oh, over here, we can have, what can we have? We can have a table. 
with the carpet maybe that can work i have to see about that and then on that table i want to have this little fish tank the scary merry fish tank i think that grim would have a fish and he would take really good care of that fish and they're having a lovely lovely time and yes i know that i put up a salt and pepper shaker but i'm pretending that that is fish food right thank you moving on oh the ensuite bathroom what do we need for the ensuite bathroom we need some sinks and maybe some mirrors it's always good and i'm gonna put up some towels and i've actually used the big size towels and just size them down a little bit to get some nice hand towels and we can also have a little toothbrush holder and some soap and my hand towel is missing where did that go i don't know but i'm gonna put it up again ah there we go boom shamalam and then we can't forget about the bathtub Rim loves his bathtubs he really does and i'm gonna hang up the hangman right on there is that a vampire oh it is and i'm gonna hang up some towels and oh my gosh a toilet i almost forgot the toilet i always do this it's a curse really oh <laughs> but all right let's begin on Grimm's office shall we and we can start off with the desk in green and this is kind of like Grimm's personal office so it's a little bit more chill, more chillax, but still has some vibes. Now, I would like to give Grim the typewriter computer from Cottage Living, but we don't have that, so I'm gonna give him this instead. Looks very old to me. And I'm also gonna put up some naked knacks, some desk naked knacks, that's what we need. And a box of stuff. And then right here, I'm gonna put up some shelves, like so. And then I'm gonna put some books on those shelves, because that's always nice to have in an office. I do really think so. And there we go, my little old bookshelf. And I even put up some postcards, a little Grim over there, a little Grim gnome. Got that fit in. He might like that, Mr. Grim. All right, now in this corner, I can have a little uh, a little reading nook maybe there's a chair and a table now i would normally go for another table like this one but then i would have to size it down and since i don't have tool mod that's just gonna be such a hassle and a half that i don't want to go through right now i don't so it's gonna be that one but that table is looking kind of cute though not gonna lie yeah got my ghosty ghoul up there and some books and a clock because i feel like the grim reaper would like some clocks it's a master of time and time is running out and then for the carpet situation in here can i squeeze in one of those round carpets no not really oh i gotta stack some carpets again <laughs> this has become my new hobby yeah, stacking carpets on top of each other. But I think that couldn't work. I put a octagon one and a round one and shabong shabong. And ooh, what am I gonna have here? Maybe some bookcases if I just plop these down right there. But then we have a window. What am I gonna do there? I do wonder. <gasps> what if I put up one of those holster stations and then I just turn it around and put it like so? That's kind of cool. And then I just put something on there. What am I gonna put on there? <gasps> what if I put up tiny little gravestones? Because <laughs> this is Grimm's office. He would have some headstones, wouldn't he? Just kind of like so. It's not so cute, actually. The gravestones and little voodoo doll tarot cards a little mushroom guy and the memorial picture i think that's very cute i kind of like that <laughs> okay oh now for this hallway the hallway i'm gonna put up these pictures that i found from the debug menu why i'm putting them up right now it's because i found them in the menu and i'm scared that i'm gonna lose them so i'm gonna put them up and then i'm gonna put up a green green carpet a carpet runner yes no maybe <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? These big old doors. And then just have a carpet right there. Because this is grim space, people. Grim only. And then for the rest of the hallway, what am I going to have there? I can have a grandfather's clock. Because Grim likes time. And ooh, I also want Bone Hilda up there as the hermit. Because the Grim Reaper and Bone Hilda, they have some history together. They do. And then right here, I can put up this memorial table. With some more pictures that I found from the debug menu. Because I'm running out of pictures, people. There are only so many pictures you can put up from the base game. <laughs> But anyways, I, oh, I can also put up a table here with some hallway table, naked in next, and it's gonna be lovely. And there we go. I put up some headstones, a little frog, and the grim gnome again. It's a lovely little guy that always cheering up the place, that one. Oh, and then in here, this was supposed to be the guest bedroom, wasn't it? I think it was. So we need a bed. Now I'm gonna go for this bed and a bedside table. And on that bedside table, we need a lamp. And I'm gonna keep it very plain in here because it is a guest room. So you wouldn't have a lot of naked in next in the guest room, you know? Oh, and then right here, we're going to put up our dresser. Bop. And on that dresser, I'm going to keep it so simple. So again, it is a guest room. So maybe a plant. I mean, yeah, okay. I'm going to put up the plant and this little basket of stuff. Just in case the house guest has forgotten something, you know. And then some mirrors. I'm going to put up the mirrors. My beautiful mirrors. Like so. Oh, and then in this corner, what can we put up there? Maybe I can have some sort of light. And also a chair. This one. Yes. A sweet, sweet chair moment over there. <laughs> For this lovely, lovely bedroom. Indeed. I mean, that really looks like a guest bedroom, doesn't it? I mean, I hope so. And then we have the bathroom. What do we need? For the bathroom by the way sink that's always good to have and then we can put up this robe i don't know why i put up a robe first before a toilet <laughs> or a bathroom but apparently i did all right we need a mirror and i'm also gonna put up some soap and some toothbrushes and a hand towel that's important i mean there is a towel on that sink but they need an extra towel yeah these people <laughs> and i'm also gonna put up a bathroom and a bathtub towel bathtub towel okay a normal towel with of course grim on the wall he's can my name tag go away please thank you grim is here my name tag ruined everything okay i'm over that joke and then of course the toilet can't forget that see i didn't forget it i will never forget the toilet from now on never ever gonna happen never in this house at least oh and now for the curtain 
curtains. I do not think that this curtain is going to work. No, that's going to take up so much space. What am I going to do then? Oh, yikes. Will these work? No. These? No. Oh, wow. Okay, I just went with these curtains. I just took this curtain and then sized it down. But this is a nightmare. These gosh darn curtains. Okay. <laughs> oh, and then we have this floor right here. What am I going to have there? I am curious. Very curious. I am going to have this creepy statue right here. I think it's grim. No. It kind of looks like a grim person, but I'm going to have it. Just a creepy old statue in that room. And you can't even get into that room because this is only for the mystical beings who can teleport themselves into this room. Bada bing, bada boom. And that was indeed the house all done and dusted. Oh, we, oh, wow. And now it is indeed time for a house tour. Bye. And yet again, I don't have my shaders on because it doesn't work. But we're going to make it through with an all normal house tour without the shaders. But look at this. Me house. Oh, it's not my house. It's Grim house. It's looking really lovely. Oh my God, my name tag. It's looking really cute. Do kind of like it. It's a front garden. And another side of the house. And then the back of the house. Oh, that greenhouse is looking so cute. I love that. Oh, my magical well as well. That, <laughs> okay. My well as well. And another side right here. And my magical tree. Whoa. But yeah, the house is looking so ominous <laughs> in the setting but let's have a little walk inside oh i forgot to paint the ceiling oh no okay if i paint the ceiling some of the stuff is going to disappear that has happened to me so many times now it's worrisome i don't think i'm ready for that okay ignore the ceiling just ignore it but anyways here is the entryway lovely jubbly and then we step into the other hallway and go into the beautiful kitchen oh it looks so weird okay i'm gonna paint the tiles and i'm nervous oh yeah i am actually nervous but i'm gonna make it through just for you okay let's try this again here is my kitchen welcome welcome it's very big and bone dusted <laughs> but that was the plan <laughs> oh and then we have my little cute kitchen corner also very down and dusted and also my breakfast nook. wow and let's step into the dining room oh la la it is a dining room, people, with my hatch. El dining rumors. Wow. And then if you step on in here, we shall see the living room. And oh no, do not look at the fireplace. It's forbidden. But here are my couches. And my little bar moment. I almost said piano. Chess moment with the Santa clown. Oh, and then my little table of Nicky Nacks. And it survived. It survived the ceiling happening. Wonderful. And let's see in here. Oh, this is the boot room. I can't really film it that well. But here is a fish eye. Fish eye. And <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> what a wonderful fish eye that was. <laughs> and let's walk her up a stairs. We can see Bone healed out with the grandfather clock. And the little old hallway. With my stuff I love over there. And here we have Grim's bedroom. Wonderful. With his TV and <laughs> stuff. Oh, and his little table over there. Oh my gosh. Then if we step into the bathroom. Grim's bathroom. We got a toilet. We got a bathtub. I have to zoom really far out. Fish eye. Everything looks so weird when you zoom out. It's just... <laughs> Anyways, here is also... What is this? A sink. Okay. <laughs> and then if we step in here. What is this? Oh, this is Graham's office. Oh, it is so cute in here. That little nook over there. Oh, and this old bookshelf mess. <laughs> and then his teeny tiny little corner over there. Oh, we are wow. That is so cute. And then we have the guest bedroom in here. And my bed disappeared. I knew that there was something that was going to disappear. Where did it go though? Okay. Well, here, here is the guest bedroom. <laughs> The disappearing bed. Isn't it wonderful? Okay, I'll oh, keep it. And here's another bathroom. Oh, wow. Got my sink. Got my bathtub. My bathtub. And the toilet. That's in this very narrow corner. <laughs> there's the toilet. Oh, wow. Oh, and then the basement. Hold on. Hold on. Before I move on to the basement, here's the bed again. It's it's back, people. It's back. Good. But all right. Let's step into the basement. What? Did I do the wrong ceiling? I painted the ceiling down here. Ah, I gotta do it all again. Um, This is almost impossible to do these ceilings because I have another floor on top of that. Oh, and if I try to go down, it goes down to a different level. And I just... What am I supposed to do here? This is impossible to... <laughs> I am in misery again. Please help me. <laughs> The house tours always go so wrong. And I floated away. Where am I? Oh, here I am. Okay. That was kind of a scary moment. <laughs> I do gotta say. But here we are in the scary, scary basement with me table. Oh, it's looking so grim in here. Oh, no. I messed up that portal. Shoot me good. And there's another roof there. Hold on. Okay, I gotta fix that. But here is Grim's office. Oh, this is looking kind of cool. It's looking very menacing. The other side as well. Wow. I do kind of like this office. That's kind of nice. Kind of neat. Kind of beautiful. Not beautiful. Well, let's go in here into the common rooms, the fun rooms. And it's looking so so messy and dirty in here. Oh my gosh. And I do kind of like how I place those items on the coffee table. It looks so unfinished and I do like that. It's kind of magical in here. I do say. And then we have the kitchen corner, which also looks so grim. Grim. I learned a new word today. <laughs> it looks so grim in here with that hole on the floor. Oh, jeepily. Let's have a little fish eye. Fish eye. Wow, magical. And then if we go in here, into the bedrooms, the bedroom area. Oh, got one little bedroom moment in there and another one and another one. 
typical scrapped up posters and everything. Why is that curtain blue? I'm so confused. Did I put up a blue curtain? The mystery of this house, I tell ya. Okay, I lowered down the portal again, but it's still, it's going through the roof. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. What about now, people? Well, now I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, now it's working. Kind of, kind of working. I wish that I could put some more down there, but the floor is so glitched. If I try to put down anything, it just goes into the wall and up in the air and everything. And I don't have two months, so I can't fix that. I'm gonna fix that curtain too. Bam, fix that curtain. Oh, and then the casket room. How could I forget the casket room? Oh, here is me casket room. <laughs> it looks so creepy and menacing in here. Oh, and oh, and my gravestones. Oh, yikes. Okay. And, and where am I now? I don't know. Oh, I'm back here. But okay, that was my house. My lovely, lovely house. Uh, well, hello there. This is Northern Future again. And I'm here to narrate this slideshow. Yes, I decided to do a little slideshow at the end because that house tour that I did was truly terrible. I mean, why do I do my house tours at 10 p.m. at night? That is not a good time for Nora. She's tired and she has no idea what she's saying or doing. I... Yeah, I have no words. But here is the house. Hope you enjoy it. I made the slideshow. I've already said that. Okay, yeah. And you know what? When I look at this little slideshow, I do realize how much I miss my tool mod and how excited I am to start using it again. I can't wait. It's gonna be magical. And the houses are gonna be great. I hope. I can't promise anything for the future. Who knows what Nora is gonna do for the future? She never knows. All right, I do think that the house story is done now. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Back to the Nora of the present. The present tense. Yeah. And that uh, was the end of this video. This is the outro, people. Welcome to the outro. Yeah. And uh, if you for some reason went down on this house, you can't run right now or can you i have to see about this i don't know how this works but maybe it's on the gallery when you see this or maybe it's not it's gonna be a surprise it's gonna be a surprise because right now it doesn't work that way you see i don't have a gallery right now so i gotta see how i figured that out so yeah and <laughs> and uh, don't forget to like subscribe because it really does help me out so um thank you but only if you want to only if you want to and i will see you guys next time goodbye